Prayer Circle, where broken hearts meet the healing hands of God. Prayer Circle starts now. 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 I remember one time I was speaking with one lady and she was telling me um, to pray for her because the husband had gone out um, to another marriage to stay with another woman and then he got sick. He was admitted in hospital and um, and she couldn't access him. So that those are so many levels of pain and she had been with him for many years. I know a lot of men are also going through the same issue of broken relationships, broken families, and that's what we want to acknowledge tonight. Even though we are on the Valentine's week, it's a week of celebrating, but um, tonight I just wanted to acknowledge anyone going through a broken uh, family situation um, because those things affect us even in our places of work they affect our children's performance in school they affect our own performance in school if you're listening and you're a student and they also affect our own performance just as a as a human being they affect our temperament our output our productivity and so we're asking God to help us to walk in wisdom so let's open with a word of prayer Lord it's <sighs> We, we must acknowledge that things have not always gone the way we planned that they would go. We must acknowledge that there are people who are tuned in here and, and they're hurting because they've been disappointed, they've been heartbroken, Lord. I pray that tonight with the conversations and the testimonies, as we share testimonies, as we have conversations, as we read the SMSs that are going to come in, I pray, Jehovah God, that you'll give us wisdom so that we can speak into each and every one of those situations, Lord, and to speak life and to speak encouragement and breath of fresh air. Jehovah God, I pray that you may visit the heart of everyone tuned in tonight and going through a turbulent, chaotic situation, that you will give them stability, that you will help them to find refuge in you. Your word says that your um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and those who take refuge in it they are saved so lord we take refuge in your name tonight for all the areas of our lives that are looking dull and uncertain and even chaotic we take refuge in your name for your name is a strong tower and they who run into it they are saved and they are us so we are running to your name tonight and we are, we are saved. We thank you for what you are doing in our lives through the difficult circumstances that many of us are going through, Lord. I pray that you will bring reconciliation to those who need reconciliation. I pray that you will bring forgiveness to those who need forgiveness. I pray that you will bring love to those who need love, Jehovah. And all in all, we speak wisdom. We speak wisdom, O oh Lord, to navigate all of life's challenges. And it's in Jesus' name we have prayed and believed. Amen and amen. I am together with a good friend of mine and our mother to us. Her name is Esther Joy. Karibu sana. Thank you. Esther Joy is a counselor. Um, of course, uh, you have a background in the corporate world, but yeah. now you're transitioning mm, into mm, counseling. Mm. And you're a mother of three. Mm. And a grandmother of two. Two. Mm. Wow. And mm. guys, radio people, I know you can't see how she looks fabulous. Take it from me. Karibu <laughs> sana. Mm. So um, let me just read our verse of the day and then I let you take it from there. Joel 2.25. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. Uh, that verse is, is uh, it's a very reassuring verse. Yeah. I'll just tell you what I think first and then I just let you take it away. So what I, you know, uh, one of the things that stands out to me is that these things were sent by God. He says, I sent this army to you, my great army, mm -hmm. um, to, to, <coughs> to devour, to eat your years. Mm. <laughs> they are years. So maybe someone is, we are talking all from two years, it can be 10 years, it can be 15 years. Even 30. Even 30 years. Mm. 
and the Lord just allowed it to happen. Mm. So I shudder when I think of that. Yeah. Uh, but also it's reassuring mm. that he will restore those years. Yes. Over to you. Yes. Um, when we talk about the, the restoration of the, of the years, uh, we are talking about the you know the lord allowing you to go through the wilderness which you have been going through mm. uh, and at times that uh, in that wilderness state it is not very very comfortable mm. because you see th that is the time when you are asking god where are you yeah yeah because i'm going through this pain yeah and now you are asking yourself when you did this kind of a scripture mm. you keep on asking yourself when are you restoring these things mm. And then, um, but what I have come to realize that is that you have to come to keep yourself in tune with God. Mm -hmm. Because um, one thing which I know is that God is not a liar. Mm -hmm. He's not a man that is, is going to lie. Mm. And uh, when he says that he's going to do it, for sure he's going to do it. Mm. But at times now it becomes very, very painful because yeah. you are waiting. Yeah. And uh, through the wilderness, it's not very comfortable. Yeah. And at times people want to remove you from the, the wilderness. Yes. And when they want to remove you from the wilderness before your time, yes. it's like during the time of a butterfly in metamorphosis. Yes. You see, this butterfly has to go through the process. Yeah. You There's a pupa stage. A pupa stage. Where it's like uh, yes. in prison. In prison. Yeah. So now when you are there, if somebody tries to remove you from that pupa stage, yeah. Actually, you are not going to uh, you are not going to succeed in yeah. whatever God wants to do with yes. you. So what we do is that we allow ourselves mm. to be trained by the Holy Spirit because this is the time when we are being pruned. This is a time when because God wants to use a vessel which is already uh, refined, mm. and when we are going through that refining, it is not very very comfortable. Mm. And you find yourself even you are in the church, people are getting miracles. And you, you are not getting. You're not getting. Yes. Yeah. And you are praying. You are fasting. Mm. A fasting of 40 days is announced. Yes. You go through it. Mm. And still nothing happens. Yeah. But that does not mean that God is not in it. Mm -hmm. God is still in it. Mm -hmm. He's working behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the eight all, that is when you see that. Um, I'll give you a scenario whereby um, I went through mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm which was very, very painful. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the issue here is was that um, actually tonight we are talking about a broken marriage, mm -hmm. a broken uh, relationship. Yes. This is a time whereby now um, uh, your mom has passed on mm. and you are left alone. Mm. Yeah. And How old were you at that time? The, this, this is the time when I'm, going to, I mean, I'm doing my form four. Mm. And I'm the only child. It's a very critical stage. You're the only child of you know, my mom. You're the you are an only child. Yes. Okay. S so <laughs> that must have been so difficult. Now it becomes so difficult, yes. and you have been left without a job, and people are still reassuring you that things are going to get well. Mm. And you know, you are seeing people laughing. You are asking yourself, why are they laughing? Mm. Mm? And then God is reassuring you with this scripture that is going to restore everything. Mm. This time you don't have a job. I didn't have a job. I didn't even know what to do. But one time, because uh, uh, we were staying with some neighbors, mm -hmm. a neighbor came and asked me uh, in our vernacular, uh, the, we, do you want to work mm. uh, somewhere I take you? I said, yes. Then she took me. Mm -hmm. When I went there, I was accepted. Mm -hmm. And the lady who took me there in that in that office, mm. she looked at me and uh, because they, they, they discussed, because I gave them my story, I told them now I'm, I'm an orphan. Mm. And then they were telling me, um, the, she, she told me that um, what I can do for you, what I can uh, advise you is that the moment you get your salary, go back to school. Okay. Yeah. So I did you had you managed to finish the fourth year the fourth I have, form? I, yeah, You've I managed. Cleared. Okay, so she was now, telling you go to go to college. college. Okay. So, fro right from the word go, I've been employed and I started going to, to school, and I took myself to school. Yeah. And up to, I, I went up to the university. Mm. When I was still wow, in you my work, I paid for, yourself. <laughs> for myself. Yeah. So when you look at this scripture, mm. on, you, you look at it and you see that for mm. sure God has uh, restored my ears. Yeah, he has. He has. 
And then uh, you, you see, for instance, now I also got married. Mm. And uh, as I got married, I mm -hmm. continued now with my life. Yeah. And you know when God comes to wipe your, your tears, yeah. you, it's like when you are you're having a lot of pain when you are giving a birth to a baby. Yes. That time you're having the knee, those pangs and and labor, pains. labor pains and you are feeling like it is the end of it all yeah. but when you get your baby and you see your baby you forget the pain mm. so that is what god does and that is now when people are talking about restoring the the wasted years mm. it is not that uh, that uh, years are going to be removed or something mm. but there's a way god is going to work out in your life yes. so but we allow ourselves you know, when I'm speaking now, I'm mm. shortening so many things because I, I went know. through so much. Oh my goodness. Mm? Can you tell us two two mm. struggles you had? Like did you ever sleep hungry? One one of the struggles is that was paying the the the, 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 the rent. Oh the rent. Yes. Because you were living alone. I was living alone. Yeah. And you see, during the time of barrio, people come up with very many stories that they are going to help you. Mm. They are going to pay you a rent. Mm. They are going to do this. But at the end of the day, when somebody is buried, the story ends there. Mm. Nobody comes back to you. Mm. Mm? Yeah. But I want to say that the Lord is so good mm. because Alin Shikam Kono. Mm. And I saw his hand eh? yes. because it was such a struggle. And uh, this time around, when you are going to Nini to work, you are given the, I was being paid about 4,000. Four, 4, mm. <laughs> and, um, but it was so much because yeah. I was paying the rent 300. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Wow, in a cosa, three hundred. Yes, and I, I went to an extent to a, a one time. I went to one of our relatives mm. who gave me a job at the showground, and I was told to wash there. To wash the showground. This, yes, the, the, um, to make it was I was give, taken to the washrooms. Uh huh. Yeah. Mutaki kona how is it you passed yeah, through that? I passed that. through that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But then when I, I've gone now to Nini, I went now to, to, to this working place. Mm -hmm. I continued taking myself to school mm. until I was promoted mm. till when I was coming out from that Nini, car that job. I came mm. out when now I'm a senior, one of the senior staff. Wow. So mm. didn't God wipe away my tears and restored my ears? He did. He did. At times I could cry. And you see, uh, especially when you don't have sisters, mm. you don't have a brother. Yeah. The only people you have are your aunties. They are, they are very much busy with their own children. With their own children. Yeah, That's they, true. Do they have time with you? No. Even if they have time, they cannot be able to commit it to you. Maybe someone can give you a hundred shillings here, here, here and there. Yeah. And there. Mm. But our God is so faithful because he never allowed me to stay without a job. Wow. Mm? Glory so he gave me that job. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I then found uh, somebody who was uh, a very good lady who took me off and told me that I should go back to school. And mm. I listened to what she was telling yes. me. So I took myself to school. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. I just want you to talk to somebody who I think my heart really goes out to um, people who do uh, casual jobs. Yeah. Or... Uh, house helps if i don't know if there's a house help who is listening to us tonight but to, tonight i just feel like uh talking to the house helps you know they've they feel many of them not all of them many of them feel like they are at the bottom of life let me tell you i'll give a practical example it's yeah. good to give a pr practical example of yes. my life yes so you see now god has pruned me mm -hmm. and has taken me through that road yes that wilderness yes then i employed uh one of the house help uh -huh. and uh i am telling you i i and in, i was telling her that this is not the the uh, don't look down on this job yeah god is going to take you to another level yes she could not see what i'm saying yes and I'm telling you, the Lord, she worked with me very well. Mm -hmm. When my mom-in-law was un unwell, she took care of her very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I could encourage her and give her scriptures, we could pray with her mm -hmm. and tell her that this is not the end of everything. Mm -hmm. Accept this job and God is going to take you to another level. Amen. And I'm telling you today, mm -hmm. she's owning her own business. Wait, 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 wait her own business uh -huh. at time there was a time when i had a, a had a problem uh. and uh, i needed some money you can't uh. imagine she's the one who assisted me 
Mm? Wow. So what I can say is that even if your house help, yes. take that job like you are working unto the Lord. Because yes. I was telling God that whatever God has given you to do, the word of God is telling us that. Yes. Do it with all your heart. Yeah. Mm? Mm. And don't look down on your job. You know, at times uh, we, we are looking at uh, these jobs as our old jobs. Yeah. Go to America. In Kenya, you cannot even wash anini. Uh, you can't wash the washrooms, yeah? Mm -hmm. But you are finding that the people who are coming again, coming up from America to come and see us, mm -hmm. when you go there, they are washing those nini, yeah. washrooms. Those people who send us money. Who send you us know, money. They send money, so, they send gifts. And they value those jobs. Yes. Here is because we don't value the name. That's true. The, yeah. yeah. And I've seen even uh, and, uh, other other examples of uh, of house helps. Like there was one also was um, employed by one of my friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, then one time uh, God gave her an opportunity to go to America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She never thought she can even go to, Nini, wow. to America. Yeah. She's now in America. She got a green card. She got, she, no, she was taken to go and take care of the children of that lady. Oh. But you see now, what we can say that is that God is not a respecter of persons. That's true. And what God looks for is about your heart. Mm. That which um, you know, God allows you to pass through the house help. Mm. I was telling you that I want washed there you washed wash toilets rooms. yeah i washed toilets yeah mm? that did not make me not to reach my goal that's true and i'm not saying that in mefika mm. i'm still going on you're still going yes love that yes yeah because because even after retiring from um yes used to do customer yeah care. customer relations and now mm. you you've gone into counseling counseling you know? i mean mm. you're still evolving reinventing yes. yourself yeah and i'm still and very soon god willing i may be ordained yeah. Yes. Glory to God. Yeah. We'll, for his own glory. We'll come for the party <laughs> if you call us. <laughs> so yeah. so what I can say is that let us allow ourselves, uh, allow God to prune us. Amen. And let us not give up mm. when we are in that wilderness. Mm. Let us not listen to people because... I can remove you from that wilderness. And I'm telling you because it's a test. Mm -hmm. You are going to see yourself repeating the same test. You repeat. You repeat. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's true. So it is good for us to allow God to do what he wants to do with us. Because mm -hmm. you can see, he's the one who has sent this army. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The chewing locusts, the crawling locusts. Mm. Uh, all these locusts, they have been sent by God. They've been sent by God. So he knows they he are knows there. They are he there. knows what you're going through. He knows what you are going through. Yeah. Yeah. But it is normally very painful. It's so painful. But my friends, let us allow God mm. to prune us, mm. to refine us, mm. so that we can be a noble Christian, Amen. a noble vessel of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's very encouraging. Mm. Let me see what um, what people are saying. Kwam Tandao. Um, or let me start with the ones that came in from the partner's desk. Joy, your namesake. Mm -hmm. She's saying, pray for my mother's complete healing and resources to build a house. Mm -hmm. Esther is saying, I am in the waiting season. It's a very tough moment for me. Uplift me in prayers. You know, one of the thoughts that have crossed my mind in the areas I'm waiting on God for is, what if it never happens? You know, that's what God, uh, the devil wants us to think. Yeah. What if it never happens? What if out away or moka? <laughs> yes, and that is very true. Yeah. Yeah, but what uh, somebody does, you mm. see, uh, these are the preachings which the, the, the enemy will be preaching to you. Yes. Because that is not the voice of God. Yes. And I'm telling you, receive so many voices. Yes. Mm? Yeah. Because at, uh, you'll hear even the, 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 the enemy telling you that you, you, you are so useless. Yeah. I was telling you that you cannot go anywhere. Yeah, the, that's the time when you're washing the, the toilets, the devil yes. will come and tell you, this no, is it. Yes, this is it. This is where you, you belong. wash toilets for the rest, for of, the rest your of your life. life. Yeah. But let us see God, mm. a big God. Mm. And the, when the word of God says that is going to restore, let us believe that is going to restore, restore. us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Dan so that was for Esther because she's in the waiting season. Daniel is trusting God to speed up the process of my titles processing. Anne is a mother to a child with challenges and you say, I'm facing rejection. I need favor before men and before God. And Mercy is saying, pray for me to be able to accept the will of God in my life. Right. Um, what's up, Ime Funguka? 
So I see Esther. I was with Esther today, a lady called Esther who had won a Bible last year and she came to collect her Bible. If you haven't collected your Bible, please do so. Um, we are I'm giving I'm, I'm giving to the last year's winners of Bibles. Um, uh, so, but before you collect, please call us. If you have my number, you can call me or you can call the family media um, uh, office line and just notify us that you will be coming. So Esther arrived home safely. Thank you, Esther, for saying that. And you say, I really thank God even for you, family media. Before dropping to pick my Bible, I had been to town to pick my passport. And I'm really grateful and trusting God in a month's time, Itakwana travel abroad to prosper and succeed and be a blessing to family media in Jesus' name. Wow, we are happy for you, Esther. Pray for everyone, uh, mom, pray for everyone with a passport so that they will travel between this year and next year so that we don't have passports that expire before you used, used it. Before you used it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, so mm, mm. pray for all people with passports and also Esther mm. because she's believing in God for economic growth and just traveling and opportunities. Mm. Ryan from Nyakach, we are praying for your healing. You are represented well by faith. And then Caroline, um, you say, I hope you had a good day. Let's pray for our nation, for love and peace to dwell among us, and for those countries most affected by drought. Lord, have mercy on us. I don't know, I'm feeling like uh, the Lord has heard our prayers and the rains are going to come. I have a lot of faith, but we keep praying. Then, um, let's see. Uh, this is a message I'm trying to see. And saying that I need your prayers, people of God. I'm feeling like God is not on my side because of the situations I'm going through right now. Please pray for me that God can hear my cry and hear my needs. Um, what comes to your mind, uh, Esther Joy, when you hear that? Feeling like, hey, I don't think God is on my side. Actually, I don't even think he likes me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, one thing which I would tell her is that... Um, or if it is him, yeah. I'll tell them that God chastens the ones He loves, mm -hmm. and he, and we have read about this uh, this uh, this scripture about mm. the restoration. Mm. But when you see yourself going through that, does not mean that God does not love you. Yeah. God loves you so much, but that is where we are saying that God, ha you have to go through what God wants you to go through. Mm. If you look at this, the case of uh, somebody like Abraham, Abraham was called mm -hmm. my friend by God. Yes. But Abraham had to go to the, through the same process. Yes. The one he was supposed to go through. Yes. And at one time, Abraham asked the, the Lord, because now, now I've reached at this age and I don't have any. It shows that the one who is going to inherit my properties mm -hmm. is one of the servants. Yes. Then the Lord told him, no. Yeah. The one who is going to inherit you, mm. me, you are, you are, you take your inheritance, mm. is, uh, is your own child mm. from your own, Nini. Yeah. Uh, from your, from the, the womb of your own wife. wife. Yes. But he, he could not even understand. But Nani, if you look at the, the Bible, Abraham never questioned. Yes. And that's why now, even when we are going through this situation, mm. sometimes he asks God, why are we going through this? Yeah. Why me? I am mm. crying and I'm not seeing anything that mm. is happening. Yeah. That does not mean that God is not in it. He's in it. He's in Number it. one, he's, teach, uh, he's testing your patience, mm. whereby we have to allow God to, if you don't have patience, God mm. has to test you in that. Yeah. God has to prune you so that you can be able to have patience. Patience. So that tomorrow you are able to encourage another mm. person. Mm. Though, so that does not mean that he that he doesn't love you. Yeah. Does not that he doesn't love us. He loves mm. us so much. Mm. But we have to go through the process. Mm. That's true. Mm. I just remembered there was an office. Uh, a friend of mine was telling me that mm. uh, that I'm very calm when mm. there's crisis. Mm. And so I just laughed because I, I feel like I've been through so much crisis in my life mm. that I actually reached a point where I can be able to be calm mm -hmm. when things are looking very bad. Mm. But before you get there, mm. it's such a heavy journey. 
Yeah. And maybe that's what you're going through. Mm. This this one who is feeling like God does not love me. Mm. God is just helping you to cross that river. Yes. Of every time you see a crisis, you panic, you, panic. you insult people around you. Mm. You've seen those people who when they are stressed yes they are insulting everyone and even even your own children you are beating fights. them up picking yeah up fights yeah mm? yeah but there's something which god is doing in your yes. life yes. yeah yes that's true mm? he wants to you to be calm he wants, he wants you to, yeah. to be patient yes he wants you to go through that for a reason. Yes. Yeah. I used also to have those ma panic moods. Yes. And I feel that now, God, if you don't do this, I am going to die. Yes. <laughs> you even tell God, <laughs> do it or I do it die. I die. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> isn't God good that He just watched us? Yes. You know. <laughs> you know. I was. I was. I was speaking. I was talking to another friend of mine. I was telling her, if only God can open the the curtains we see our videos the kind of prayers people pray yeah <laughs> you can ask yourself even this one hey, that was yes me. yeah <laughs> yeah that's yes. true mm. that's true yes let me read a few more and mm. then we pray mm. somebody says pray that i continue standing for god's space and god standing with me today i had an extraordinary experience just because i wore a rosary on my wrist as a bracelet and it had a dangling cross at my wrist uh, or, or you had so you had the experience because of wearing the rosary on your on your wrist and then you say i just had to stand for god and to do as a believer would do i thank god with the way i'm responded i'm sure i made him proud may all the glory go back to him all right betty happy to hear that uh, Muna, you're saying, kindly uphold me in prayer for financial breakthrough urgently. And you say, blessed evening. And then, um, tuned from Nyarugumu Nyeri, Unasema, please say hi to mom. Aki muna kwa baraka kwangu. Umesalimiwa. Yeah. You're a blessing to us as well, and thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody says, I hope we're live tonight. All right, Shekaina Amenishika. I wasn't in yesterday, but I left you in the able hands of, we had done a pre-recorded show with uh, Bishop Bob Kabugi, and he was sharing his experience of how his own family broke. Um, I, I believe it was a good show. And then you say, um, I thank God for my family. I pray for my niece's education to be secured and successful in Jesus' name. Blessed evening. You too. And then pray for my marriage. My husband went and I don't know his whereabouts since 14th February. May God bring love and restore our marriages. Pole, I can't imagine what that feels like. I'm so sorry and we are standing together with you and things will turn around for you. Keep hoping. Don't give up. Rosemary says... Um, that you had a good day and you're happy to tune in. Um, you say <laughs> yesterday's Bishop Kabugi's story was scary and I respect his wife for having forgiven him because it wasn't an easy thing to do. I'm trusting God for more clients and excellence in my job. Please pray with me. All right, we are praying with you. Joy, you say... Uh, that you're tuned. Thank you for tuning in. Joy Mwangi, you say, I'm thanking God for this week. I'm almost done with my medication. Please continue praying with me that I may be favored by God and get the job I have been diligently praying for. All right, I hear you, Joy. Um, so I think, uh, Mom, you can take us into prayers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We appreciate you because of this wonderful day. Mm. And we appreciate you, Jehovah God, even for our listeners, my Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord, because of the, this group of people who are having passports mm. and they have not traveled, Jehovah yes. God. Yes. Father, we thank you because your word says that the, the, the earth is yours and the fullness they are love and the people that dwell in it. So, Lord, we are crying unto you, Jehovah God, that you may remember mercy upon them, Jehovah God. Mm. The Lord, you may make a way for them to 
to travel abroad in the name of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. because there is nothing which is too hard for you. The Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, they are able to fulfill mm -hmm. the assignments which you have given them abroad in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God, even because of this nation. We surrender our nation before the Lord. Mm -hmm. We are trusting you that, Lord, you are going to give us rains in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, Lord, we have sinned against you and fallen short of your glory. We are crying for mercy and grace. The Lord may remember mercy upon us that we are going to operate as a nation in open heavens so that the rains are going to come and we are going to have food, you know, in the, in the entire nation, Jehovah yes. God. We surrender this nation unto your able hands. May you have mercy on us and give us rains, rains for your own glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for those people who uh, who want to be healed, Jehovah God. They are ailing, in, in uh, they have sicknesses and diseases, Jehovah God. Everlasting Father, we are calling upon thy holy wonder of name, that everyone who is feeling unwell, Jehovah God, mighty Father, may you stretch forth your might right hand upon them and deliver them and heal them, Jehovah God, because you paid it all at the cross of Calvary and you took away all our infirmities and you bore our sicknesses and diseases and by your stripes we are healed. We, we said the word of healing in every home where these people are feeling unwell, Jehovah God, and we speak total healing in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We surrender those ones who are having finan financial hardships in the name of Jesus. We call upon thy holy wonderful name. The Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Silver and gold belongs to you, Jehovah God. Mighty Father, make a way for them to have finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If it is giving them new jobs, Jehovah God, or if they are if they are not working and they don't have jobs, my Father, give them jobs, Jehovah God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them ha experience financial breakthrough for the glory and honor of your name. Because, my Father, you are our Father, you are our Shepherd, Jehovah God, and we believe and trust in you, Jehovah God, because my Father, we have come to, to, to dwell in your sacred place, Jehovah God, and to abide under thy shadow, my Father. So, Lord, we are crying unto thee that you may remember us for your own glory, and let there be financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. There are those who are going through uh, broken marriages, Jehovah God, and they are going through hard times, my Father. But God, we are calling upon thy holy name, Holy Spirit of the living God, you are our comforter. Comfort them at time like this, Jehovah God. Mm -hmm. And my father, we are sending for the angels. Mm -hmm. You know, in the like for the list and this one, their husband left and has not even shown up. Mm -hmm. He said for the nature in the whatever his Jehovah God that he may come back home to his own family Jehovah God and we come again saw the strange woman who has ca captured him Jehovah God we are crying to Jehovah God that you may have mercy and Lord we are crying unto thee that you may draw th that husband back to her own his own family for the glory and honor of your name even those who are also going through broken marriages my father remember them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because my father you love families mighty father may you buy them together with cause that can never be broken. Lord, give them that spirit of forgiving one another. Reconciliation, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ for the glory and honor of your name. There are those people who are asking against Jehovah God, the Lord may help them that they are going to be excellent in their work, Jehovah God. Mighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you give them an excellent spirit that whatever they do, it is going to be excellent for your own glory. Father, Lord, may you stretch forth your might right hand upon every one who has been asking for prayer, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and we are not able to reach each and every one, but we are calling upon thy holy word of name, because we know that we are able to supply all our needs according to thy riches in glory. Lord, do it for your own glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. I was seeing someone writing. Let me start with Remy. Remy, Remy. Remy has written a long message. So you're asking what we are talking about. We are talking We are the main topic that we started with is prayers for relationships and particularly for broken families if you come from a broken family or you tried to start a family and it broke tonight is your night that's what we are praying about tap into the vibes tonight we are believing in god for a miracle whatever that miracle may be uh um Esther, I feel sometimes the miracle is reconciliation and sometimes yeah. the miracle is that God does a whole new thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen that as you walk with people in your life? Yes. Okay. So Remy says, um, I feel very low and I don't know what to do with this issue in my life. How does one respond to rejection? Maybe we can answer that for him. Yeah. Do some people actually have 
a spirit of rejection hovering around them? Uh, as, yeah, sometimes people have that uh, that, that spirit of rejection mm. hovering around them. And um, at times now, w what happens is that uh, we look at, into our families and see why are we being rejected. And that is why now the, this calls for prayer. Mm. Because at times you ask yourself, why is this where is this rejection coming from? Mm. And that is why we could go on praying and telling God to deliver us from the spirit of rejection. Mm. Because you find that uh, this is not something which you can just see. It is not something we can, you can help somebody. Yeah. It is something where you have to go through prayer with God and telling him that he delivers you from that rejection. Yeah. Because I one time went through rejection and I could see myself anywhere I go, I'm rejected. Mm. And I took it into prayer. Mm and fasting mm. and asking God to deliver me from this rejection. Mm -hmm. And uh, at times now I, I looked at, you know, you remember that um, uh, at times we look down up to the time when we were born, how were we raised up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were we rejected? When the time when you are, you are, you are born, were you rejected? Mm -hmm. Did you experience some rejection? Mm -hmm. So I went back to my background mm -hmm. and I could see the rejection came out from there because my mom gave birth to me when she was just 19. Oh, so the, all that confusion. That confusion. Denial. Denial. So uh, that is why now I was experiencing this rejection, rejection. and uh, i'll tell people that it is good for us to go back to our own childhood to, yeah. uh, to try and see where is this rejection emanating from mm. and so uh, i realized that and i could feel like i don't love my mom yeah because i could oh. uh, but i could not understand you see you can only give what you have yeah because even her, the time when she got me, mm. she was in school. Mm. And now the, the, the family felt like it was let down. Yeah. So you can imagine. And, so the and I'm, the, I'm the culprit. Yeah. I'm the one who has made these things to happen. Yes. So what will happen to me? I'll be rejected. Yes. And this spirit goes by, whereby when you go to the place of work or wherever you are staying with people, mm -hmm. sweet people don't, 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 want, nini, don't, to, don't want even to, to love you. Mm. but you realize that it is a, a spirit which you have to deal with yes so i had to go through deliverance mm. bike and any self-deliverance through the word of god amen i like that yes because i like that because it's not mm. dependent on somebody it is not dependent on the somebody word of god. the word of god mm -hmm. so you listen to the word of god and you realize who you are yes. in, the, in the in the eyes of god yes. When God is telling us that we are free, are free and wonderfully made, mm. that unameza yo. Unameza. Yes. <laughs> Swallow that. <laughs> Swallow that. <laughs> yeah, I know yes. like that. Okay. Yes. And, you, uh, and then you see, you see that, that the, the, the scripture that says that we are the royal priesthood, yes. a holy nation, yes. a peculiar people. Yes. Mm? Yeah. Who have been brought out from the kingdom of darkness yes. to the kingdom of light. Yes. So now what do, we do, do you do? So you start loving yourself first. Mm -mm. When you love yourself, I'll be able to love you, Lillian. Amen. Because I cannot yes. love you if I cannot, have not appreciated myself. That is true. So I started loving myself. Yes. Mm? Yeah. So if I'm rejected, I reject myself. Yes. So And then there's a way God is going to be dealing with you, with the word of God. Yes not going through other things mm. and that is where you see yourself coming out of that rejection amen yeah amen. so i had for nene during the counseling because it is a, something which i carried so much mm. when i went to my session of counseling mm -hmm. with this an, an, a, a therapy which call about an empty chair mm -hmm. so i was told by the counselor to imagine that my mom is sitting on that chair mm -hmm. And I'm telling her the way, what I want to tell her. Yes. So I told her so many things. Mm. Mm? Mm -hmm. And when I was living there, I was totally healed. Wow. Yes. In, in the, that empty chair, she's already not, she was not in, and I forgave her. Mm. When I was living there, I cried a lot, yes. yes. But now, you know, now the, 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 whatever was inside of me, I was able to upload it yes. in an empty chair. Yes. You know? I like that. Yes. <laughs> to an empty chair. Yes. Okay. But you're imagining that your mom is seated there. Yes. All the Fred. So now from there, you see yourself that you are no longer surviving that rejection. Okay. And today, I fight, fight, fight with people. Mm. I am not rejected anymore and I will never be rejected. 
Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I was going through a journal that I had journaled Kitambo. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just a, some years ago, not so many, about six years ago, mm. and I had written somewhere, reject rejection. Mm. So I had also uh, experienced that in my life. Yeah. And um, the conviction that came to me was mm. don't sit there and accept it yes keep going at life yes you know, keep trying <laughs> keep trying every direction mm. until you find mm. a place where you will mm. be accepted mm. and it will come Remy it mm. will come don't give come. up don't give up mm. let me read a few more uh-huh self we are mependa here self deliverance through the word of god i like that that mm. is timon rateng from mm. kisumu mm. i love that too mm. um uh, praise report. Today I have seen the hand of God. The things happened miraculously. I give God glory and honor. I look forward to more of my prayers being answered. Mwihaki, give us the tea. What happened? Tell us exactly what happened if you can. And we celebrate together with you. Um, hi, Lily and Esther Joy. I'm happy to tune in. Dhoni uh, Thank you for your prayers. My son did well in his exams. He joined Vihiga boys. I give God all the glory. You say, pray for my family. God's will to be done. We separated in the year 2020. I like she's saying God's will to be done. I am in a fix and overwhelmed by debt to a tune of 2.5 meter. May the Lord open channels for me on how to go about this. I'm also contemplating on getting a passport and try abroad for money to pay the debt. Please pray for me to have clear understanding of what I need. All right, we shall pray. Uh, to, uh, my boss, you say, praise God, prayer circle. My boss has won his court case today and we are free to work. I give God all the glory. Mm -hmm. We celebrate together with you. Um, Samuel, you are tuned. And you say, I'm trusting God to open a door of increasing knowledge and skills in my line of work. My supervisor is in a way not supportive. And now I am stranded. I trust God to open a door of knowledge and skills. Um, and you say, I was a driver before I came to the new department. Please pray for God's favor and grace. I'm grateful for my, I'm grateful for family media, for prayer circle, for the encouragement you're sharing with us through the word of God. Thank you so much, Samuel. We are believing God and he will give you a breakthrough. Don't give up. Don't give up. Um, hi, PC family. I thank God for his faithfulness. Pray for my son's education. He is in grade five with some challenges. All right. Um, let me see pamela from homer bay please pray for me we are together in a house with my husband but we don't share much each person is independent is my family broken or is it intact <laughs> <laughs> talk to her talk to her she's not sure they're together but they're not together is mm -hmm. her family broken yeah, that one is broken it's broken yeah it is broken because there's no communication mm. Mm. is there anything she can do pray yeah, it is pr prayer, mm. and also try to speak to 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 communicate. Yes. Yeah, I don't know whether she has been trying to communicate, and then there is no uh, answer or what. But what I can tell her is that to put everything in prayer. Yes. And I speak to God about that, that situation. Yeah. I've seen. Uh, you see, when uh, as a woman, you are supposed to be to live a life of neology. I call it neology. Neology. <laughs> Magotiology. Magotiology. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wa mama. I go because women. Uh -huh. Yeah, some of these things you go you go before the Lord and you tell the Lord you are not comfortable with the way you are you are living. Yes. And because God loves families, yeah. and you talk to it, talk to the Lord mm. alone. These are the prayers you pray with a lot of wisdom. Mm. You don't pray when the, your husband is yelling what you are saying. Yeah, una mambia. Una mambia. Jesus. <laughs> and Make we him are not, repent. <laughs> Make him repent. I don't know what is not happening. But what you are supposed to do, be a wise woman. Yeah. End up a hurry. Separate yourself. Mm. Then pray. Mm. And when you pray, tell the Lord what you want your marriage to be. Amen. And when you tell the Lord how you want your marriage to be, mm. then God is going to answer. Mm -hmm. Because our God is always gracious to us. Mm -hmm. And you see, that is why we, we are supposed to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because Holy Spirit is a person. Yes. 
and he has feelings yes. uh, and he's going to comfort us yes. and he's going to answer us yes. there are so many things when you see me here smiling and do this i have gone through i know mm? i know that is life and anyway. that is life yeah. anyway. Yeah. because marriage is not a bed of roses yeah. you'll go through encounter that yes. but when these things come yeah. we go to to, uh, to yeah, yeah, to our knees. Because let me tell you, a woman who does not pray is joking. Yeah, that's with true. the marriage. That is true. Because there are so many things. Mm -hmm. Because God, the way He has created us as women, we are mm -hmm. able to see so many things yes. which these men don't see. Yeah, we are sensitive. Yes. So that is why we have to continue praying. Yes. Yes. But men, if you are listening, that does not exempt you from exempt praying. Exempt you from prayer. <laughs> even men are supposed to pray. Yes. And pray for your wife, so that even the the, the wives yes. are going to be wise. Yes. But now we are speaking of this scenario. Yes. Yes. We are telling Nani, that lady, that lady to pray, mm. and even if the husband is risen, let him also pray, mm. so that they can, because the reason why they are still in the same house is because they still have some love. Yeah. Yes. There's something. There's something. Kuna Yes. Kuna wale walihama. Walihama. Kachana. Yes. But there's something about them. Yeah. So let let them pray, and there will be a breakthrough. Amen. Yes, and we are also going to pray for them. Amen. Yes. I want to read this one and I think I'll finish with it. Mm. Um, Caroline, first of all, just the way she's written the message, she's mm. in a hot panic. And I mm. my husband, I've been married for four years. I discovered my husband is in the occult. Um, and you say, I need help. I need you to rescue me, remove me from this place. And you're saying, please, all is not well. My baby is not well. Um, Please rescue me. Uh, okay, so I, I will just say, if you're really, really in, in danger, call 1195. That's a Kenyan hotline for, for rescue. So call 1195. If you're really, uh, if your life is in danger, you have a small baby, you're saying they wanted to sacrifice your baby, that sounds very, very serious. Um, I'll also see what, if there's anything I can do. Um, and you know just speak a word of encouragement to how we've got two minutes yeah yeah so w what i can tell her is that uh uh even as she calls this number mm. if she goes through and she's rescued mm. let her also seek professional help, help. yes so that she can be a uh, go to either to a counselor so yeah. that they, they are able to be rescued even mentally mm. because now they are they are in panic moods now because mm. you see now when it comes to a cortic it is not something you can tell somebody this is what you are going to do mm. but if they are rescued from there yeah. the next move is to look for a counselor yeah yes okay mm. that's it um speak a blessing and say good night we have one minute okay yeah uh to the camera just speak a blessing to the people yeah <laughs> i uh, i declare total blessings to everyone who has been listening to us Amen. that god is going to bless them abundantly Amen. because he is a, a god who is full of power and majesty mm -hmm. and the word of, the work of the enemy is to kill to steal and to destroy but the lord has come to give us life more mm -hmm. abundantly Amen. so i speak abundant life to every family Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. everywhere abundant life Amen. in every situation abundant life for his own glory in the name of jesus Amen. yes that's it, gang. And please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Prayer Circle, where broken hearts meet the healing hands of God.